David Beckham is one of our most celebrated sporting icons, but he never forgot where it all started, a grassroots team in East London coached by his dad. My dad was my inspiration, I wanted to win for him, David recalls. I wanted to play well for him and my mum as well, of course. My mum was the one that was driving me to training, to games, when my dad was working. At the time, he didn't grasp the sacrifices being made by parents Ted and Sandra. It's only now, as a father himself, that the 47-year-old really understands. I, as a parent now, realize how much my parents gave up for me, explains David, who has four children with former Spice Girl Victoria, sons Brooklyn, 23, Romeo, 20, and Cruz, 17, and 11-year-old daughter Harper. Every Tuesday, every Thursday that I went training, every Saturday or Sunday that we had these games. But their dedication paid off, and paved the way to a top-flight career in which Bex won the Champions League and six Premier League titles. So it's easy to see why David relished the opportunity to go back to where it all began for Save Our Squad, a four-part documentary in which the former England captain mentors the Westward Boys, a team facing relegation in the same league he played in as a boy. Bex was delighted to find the Westward Boys players have the same supportive families that he did. He reveals, every time I sat down with every one of these boys, when I asked, what do you love most? Most of them, apart from one who said pizza dash said their mums and dads. And even the little boy who said pizza said his mum and dad after. It's about their families and that is what is heartwarming about this series. The boys are playing football but they're playing football for their families. The parents, too, are just as dedicated. David adds, these parents do exactly the same things. They all work, they've all got busy lives but they all turn up for their sons and all bring their siblings. It's a family affair, it's a community and that's what grassroots football has always been about. These parents are special and you're going to see that. David is hoping the show will have an impact on his own family too, especially wife Victoria, 48. He says, I've talked about this series to Victoria and I've talked about it to my children. Victoria doesn't always love watching football or sport programs. But I know. This series, is going to be something that after dinner of an evening we're going to sit down and we're going to watch together. We're going to laugh together and we're going to cry together. David scored more than 100 goals when he played for the under-10 squad at Ridgeway Rovers. England captain Harry Kane is among other football stars who started out playing for the renowned kids club in Chingford, East London. For me it started when I was seven years old playing over the park, wanting to play for a Sunday league team, David recalls. My dad helped me find an article in the paper that said that they were starting a team. We actually ended up being pretty successful and ended up winning the league quite a few times. David says he quickly bonded with the youngsters on the show. Obviously the boys saw me as David Beckham the Manchester United player, the England player, the Real Madrid player and all the other teams that I played for, he says. But then, once I sat with them and had a conversation and said, this is how I started, I started in this league, I started as a Sunday league player and these are the problems that I've faced, we had an instant connection. There are so many moments throughout this series that have been incredible moments for me to see, and proud moments. 
But I think the biggest thing for me is seeing the boys' personalities change. Seeing how they want to learn and how they want to listen. Day 1, they didn't really want to listen too much but then by day 10 it was a totally different thing. The boys just loved playing football and it was evident they just needed a little bit of help, a little bit of teaching and I hope that I gave that to them. Special moments include a visit to Wembley Stadium, where David earned many of his 115 caps for England. I took them on a tour and they were quite excited to be on the pitch but then I took them into the changing room and all of their shirts were hung up where the players' shirts would normally be hung up and their reaction. I mean, you couldn't have scripted it better, he smiles. Their reaction was priceless. They walked into that changing room and it was pure excitement and that's exactly what we wanted. But David admits the boy's journey was full of ups and downs. He explains, I went into this hoping that they were going to be successful on the pitch, but even more successful off the pitch. What we're trying to create with the boys is not just about football and what they do on the pitch, it's about what they do off the pitch and if they are good human beings and what they're like around their family. He adds, they are special boys and they are a special team and that's what I wanted to see. He continues, what do I hope the boys have taken away from this? Belief. I wanted them to believe in themselves, in their team, in their coaches. And I want them to believe in themselves because they're good enough. David is currently a part owner of the US side in Term Miami CF. A fact that didn't go unnoticed by several of the young footballers at Westward. As you will see in the series, quite a few of the boys are quite cheeky and they've already asked me if I will fly them over to Miami for a bit of a trial, he smiles. You never know. Save Our Squad with David Beckham is available on Disney Plus from November 9th.